guys welcome back to the honeystead so earlier this summer I transplanted probably about I think 80 at least 80 strawberry plants that I rescued from the other side of the fence that was starting to just get taken over by honeysuckle and so I pulled them all up and I planted them on this side spacing them out giving them a little bit of love a lot more love than what they were what they were getting and I, again, <laughs> was like, well, it's gonna be hit or miss. I'm either gonna let them be and they're just gonna be choked out by the honeysuckle, or I'm gonna give an op uh, opportunity to maybe see if I can transplant them to get them to come back so that we can start getting strawberries next year. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I was very nervous that I killed <laughs> all of the strawberries but I came out, I was diligent, I watered them, I checked them, I swore I thought that I was just watering dead plants for a good solid week or two. Um, but I have been excited to give you guys an update, but it looks like all but maybe, maybe five or six didn't take. Um, but this is exciting because this is one thing that we enjoy a lot here on our farm is eating strawberries and I actually I had a plan for our strawberries come on Miss Violet you're gonna come say hi to me <laughs> come on you can come sit with me we're getting a visitor <laughs> hi Violet okay all right excuse me I don't want this come here come on you can come sit with me. move your butt <laughs> this is the one thing that I have um, I was really excited to be able to do is harvest a bunch of strawberries make a bunch of strawberry jelly and or um, load them up into my freeze dryer well that didn't happen this year and that's okay because you know there's opportunities to be able to to purchase strawberries when you need it and the other day I went to the grocery store and I bought um, I believe three so nine pounds of strawberries, organic strawberries at our grocery store. They were on sale. Some of them were a little bit turning, uh, but still they don't go to waste here because I've got animals that love to eat strawberries. So I sliced them up really thin and I laid them out on our harvest rate freeze dryer trays and then I loaded them up into the freeze dryer. Now it took about a good solid, I think 24 hours. I just went back the next day and took them out. And as soon as they were done, I checked them. Of course, ate a few more, shared a few more. They were really, really fresh and delicious. I gifted one pint size jar and then I filled up a quart and a half gallon, but I have a plan. I don't just wanna leave them whole as strawberries. I thought about it, but I'm gonna end up having a little bit of extra. And one of the things that I've really enjoyed with our freeze dryer is meal prep. And how can I make things healthier and a little bit more convenient for me and our mornings as we sometimes get up, eat, and then we are out the door, whether it's doing things here on the farm or off to doing the other things that I do as a mama. But I have an idea and I wanted to take you guys along with me since I've already shared other things that I've done with my freeze dryer to make meals that are easy and ready to go. And my better than ramen freeze dried soup cups have been an absolute hit. I think I have like two that I've like snuck and I'm hiding because they have pretty much all been eaten and I need to go ahead and plan on doing another batch of those pretty soon. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I did a whole video, it was quite comical. We almost lost an eye. My mom and I laughed a lot <laughs> in that process but I've got another idea with these strawberries. So come on, let's head to the apothecary and put something together. So here is what I'm thinking. I'd like to try to make my own 
oatmeal cups ready to go. Already pre-measured, so there's no question, and you just add what you need. You could, I could probably soak this. I got quick oats, but I probably should have gotten a different alternative oats, but this is fine. Um, I'm okay. Where's the track? Yeah, I, I, yeah. The good thing is, is I cleaned all of this <laughs> right before I set everything down. Um, and I don't, I'm human, I make a mess. Uh, that's just what we do. Anyways, okay, so here are my thoughts. I really love having oatmeal um, in the morning and I love what it does to your body. So oats, Avena sativa, um, this is the oats themselves. Now, if you've been following along for a little while, I've talked about uh, making tinctures with milky stage oats, some dried, some fresh, I have some frozen. I've got that video I'll put, um, I'll put down below if you're interested in learning about the tincturing process, but we use oats straw quite a bit um, in tea form. I use my tincture on a daily basis, but incorporating oats into your diet, especially first thing in the morning, is really good for you. It's gonna give you all of the minerals that your body needs, and it also is very good for your nervous system as well. So I figured this would be fun to do a quick and easy meal plan, prep, not meal plan, for our mornings when we just have to go ahead and, you know, heat something up and it's convenient. These are alternatives. I mean, I know that they already make oatmeal that is strawberry, but I haven't really found one that is not packed full of a bunch of sugar. See, I like my oatmeal. I'm gonna just measure this because it's a half a cup is what I'm going for. I like my oatmeal sweet, but more with like honey, or I've even done maple syrup. There is another one that I was kind of looking at to doing like an overnight oats. Probably wouldn't use the quick oats for that, but you can use um, like vanilla with that and that also looks really, really delicious. But I figured this would be a fun, quick and easy way for us to incorporate something healthy in the morning that's not packed full of a bunch of sugar. And next year, <laughs> I'll have my own strawberries to freeze dry, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> so I'm doing a half a cup of oats. Some of the other things that I've done with our oats is I've used chopped up apple and some maple syrup and a little bit of cinnamon. Oh my goodness. That gives me another idea. I might have to freeze dry apple to do the same thing with the apple and the cinnamon. That sounds like a really good idea. Um, but yeah, so I'm doing about a half a cup and this should be enough for 13, oh, 12 or 13. So we will see if I don't spill any more, you know, but I'm really good at that. And I don't have a tray in here. I've taken them and they're all getting washed right now. So yeah. <laughs> to do was take a few and I don't want to leave them whole oh my goodness I wish you guys could smell this it smells so good I need to get a bowl I'll be right back okay I could use this the one thing that I wanted to try to do a little bit different is I wanted to kind of mush them up a little. Mm. <laughs> I wanted to mush them up a little bit because I kind of want that powder to be mixed in to make it more strawberry 
flavor-ish. You guys need to see this. Um, I'm gonna make a mess. I think that is perfect. My goal is to measure about two tablespoons to each, each mason jar, give or take. If I have any extra, I'm just gonna go ahead and add it in because it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I've seen some other recipes where people have taken um, like vanilla pudding and mixed vanilla pudding into this, which I would like to kind of try. I just didn't get any vanilla pudding and I really love adding honey into our into our meals um, because honey is very good for you especially this time of year it has a lot of medicinal properties um, but the strawberries themselves they're packed full of antioxidants you know you want to in start incorporating the foods that are are really good for your heart um, and can offer quite a bit of vitamins i read this article and i'm going to see if i can find the article but I read an article about how only a handful of strawberries is equivalent to eating an entire orange, uh, which to me, you know, that's pretty awesome because not a lot of people look at strawberries as, as vitamin C and what it has to offer. But I think that this is going to be really good. I'm doing it kind of quick just because I don't want to let this it out too much <laughs> and we're just gonna add a little bit extra to a few of them I don't mind the strawberry taste especially this type of strawberry now I've had a few people reach out and ask about the difference between dehydrating and freeze drying in short the freeze dryer you can do a lot more there are so many things that I have done meals that I have done we will do like a refrigerator clean out and any leftovers that we have I'll load them up so I might have four different meals in my freeze dryer that I can store for up to 25 years you can't really do that with canning and you can't exactly do that with dehydrating the one thing that I value most about having a harvest rate freeze dryer and and the means of preservation that I'm able to do whether it is food that I'm cooking for my family and it's leftovers that I don't necessarily want to waste or things that I bought at the store because I've seen it on sale and I am a big bargainer. Like I will go hunt down and try to find some sales because why pay full price on something when you know that you can actually get something on sale. Um, the other thing too is, is the food that I've grown in my garden or herbs that I've gone out and I've harvested mushrooms. I mean, I have chicken of the woods that I harvested, found up in the woods last year that is still perfect, which I feel like we need to do that video soon. I think we need to reconstitute some mushrooms that I've harvested and cook them up and show you what they look like um, because it's amazing. I mean, these are over a year old and they're still good, but it maintains the majority of the nutritional value as well as the medicinal value. I treat everything that I freeze dry like it's fresh unless it's cooked, <laughs> which is great too, because then all you need to do is just add a little bit of water and you're good to go. So, but I think these are going to be really good for our easy breakfast, ready to go, on the go, and it's in a jar, which I'm even more excited about, and it's not something that's plastic. If anyone is interested in purchasing their own Harvest Right freeze dryer, I do have an affiliate link and I'll put that down below. I'm also here for any questions that you might have in regards to some of the crazy things that I've freeze dried, and if you, if you got any questions about it, I have a medium sized one with the Premier Pump. They make small all the way up to extra large now, and they'll tell you on each size uh, how much food, how many pounds you can actually freeze dry. I will absolutely be getting the extra large one next, and as soon as I do, that is gonna be going right into the barn shop because I have got some big plans for food and <laughs> things that we're gonna be growing and doing, and yeah. Having this thing has been a game changer on food preservation, but I'm here and I will be happy to share with you guys some of the great things that I've been able to do with it. But as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. Bye guys.